This year's Solar Expo is a one-stop shopping experience for everything under the sun. And one of the sponsors <laughs> is Solar World this year. Drew Carney is taking us behind the scenes this morning at the company's factory in Hillsboro. Drew, I didn't realize that this facility out there was so big. And that is why we have come here today to, uh, to expand your knowledge, guys. Solar World, they are the largest U.S. manufacturer of crystalline photovoltaic technology. Their USA headquarters right here in Hillsboro, and the place is humongous. Uh, we've seen a lot this morning. Let me bring in uh, Tai Chung, one of the production supervisors here. Uh, so far this morning, just to update our viewers who are just waking up in the 6 o'clock hour, we started out by watching crystal be grown. We clipped the crystal. Uh, we cut that crystal down into little wafers like you see right here in my hand. Now we're at this stage of the process. Let's step out of the way, you and I, Ty, so Steve can see what's happening behind the glass. What is happening behind the glass? So pretty much right now, uh, we're putting the color on this, uh, the wafer, uh, which we call the cells. And this is a, pretty much a step where uh, uh, we put the anti-reflective coating on it. And um, that's where you see the blue color on the, the panels. And ultimately, what we're doing here is producing one of these. Uh, right next to Steve on the outside, a, a solar module. I guess we would call it a, a panel outside of solar world but in the industry they call it a module guys and that's what we're developing here today how far before we're finished this process how far before we have a finished process about three three steps away a finished yeah. product excuse me three steps away i've got time for that guys how about in about oh, 20 minutes from now we'll take you to the end of the line if you will more on solar world and how it can save you money on your energy bill maybe up to 15 to 20 percent a month sound good guys Ooh, i love Back that to you. thanks Drew.